Range. This is Ariel, the counseling intern again. Um, this time wanted to go over a really concrete, easy relaxation technique you can use at home with your kids um, or for yourself. Um, one of the simplest ways to help yourself relax and lower stress is to practice some deep breathing. Normally when we breathe without thinking about it, we're breathing from our chests. And so the breathing is a lot shallower, but deep breathing, you're trying to breathe from much lower in your body down by your diaphragm, which is like towards the bottom of your rib cage. Deep breathing is also called abdominal breathing or a diaphragmatic breathing. You might've heard those terms before. The idea is to intentionally focus on your breathing. Um, when we get really stressed or anxious, our brains tend to send messages to our bodies to tell us to, to take really quick, rapid, shallow breaths. Um, and that actually keeps us feeling more on edge because our brains are trying to tell us to be ready for anything. Um, so when we int intentionally focus on breathing from the diaphragm instead, we're telling our body and our brain to slow everything down and it helps us feel a lot more calm and steady. So um, deep breathing might not feel very natural at first because you have to kind of think about it. Um, so something that's helpful is to picture having a balloon at the bottom of your rib cage and it fills up when you inhale and then when you exhale, the air goes slowly back out of the balloon again. Um, another thing that's helpful maybe is to put one hand on your chest and then the other one at the bottom of your rib cage by your diaphragm. And then when you breathe in, you try to get your lower hand to move out and focus on how that feels and try to keep your upper hand as still as possible. It'll move a little bit, but you're trying to really focus on getting this one to move out with the breath and then this hand to stay as still as possible. Um, so a really great way to calm your stress or anxiety with the deep breathing is just a really easy exercise called the 478 method. It's really simple. So the first thing you're going to do is get in a comfortable position that could be sitting up straight. You want to have pretty good posture because if you're slouching over, it actually makes it harder to breathe from the diaphragm. So you want to make sure you're sitting up straight, but also comfortable at the same time and kind of have your hands in a relaxed position in your lap or at your sides. Um, if you decide lying down is easier, just to get a feel for how it feels to, to deep breathe, um, you can have your hands just relaxed at your sides while you're lying on your back as well. Um, and you want to kind of keep your body straight. Um, you can also decide whether you're comfortable with keeping your eyes closed while you do this, or if you have your eyes open, just have your eyes fixed on kind of a, a point in front of you and let everything else fade away and then keep your eyes as relaxed as possible while they're open. Next thing you're gonna do is breathe in through your nose for four seconds and then hold the breath for seven seconds and then breathe out through your mouth slowly for eight seconds. So the idea is to keep the breath as slow as possible and the whole time remember to try and keep it down here in your diaphragm. Um, so. I'm just gonna demonstrate for a second. Hopefully it comes across in the video. So what it looks like is this. So another way to do this is to count your heartbeats instead of the seconds for each breath. Sometimes that's a little bit simpler. A variation of this you could also do would be to pick a phrase, like a, a mantra, like this too shall pass, or um, it could be some kind of positive self-affirmation, like I can get through this, or it could even, if it works for you, it could be an encouraging Bible verse that you found helpful. Um, so you would do the same exercise, but then each time you're holding the breath, you repeat the phrase that you've picked in your mind. So it's just a really encouraging way to pair something positive with the deep breathing at the same time. Um, I like to set a timer and do this for a few minutes a day. I think having it part of your routine helps reduce your overall stress on a daily basis instead of waiting until the last minute when you feel really out of control and stressed and overwhelmed. Um, but it is also really good to use in the moment when you're feeling that overwhelmed feeling of stress. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.